Hey everyone, today we'll look at how to paint this landscape environment in Photoshop. You will see the whole process step by step, and throughout the video I will also give you some tips about composition and general thoughts regarding the workflow. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist working in video games, and I really hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. Alright, let's get started. So firstly I'm establishing the sky with just a few brush strokes. In my case it also helps not to work on an empty white canvas. I then mark the horizon line and proceed with a simple sketch to help me establish the composition. This time around I also added some darker values on the ground to help me better understand where this sketch is headed. The idea was to create a snowy, winter environment and having the character exit the forest. I also wanted to place a bunch of trees in the foreground. Now when it comes to trees or any elements that introduce strong vertical lines in your image, you have to be really careful when arranging them. If you are placing them without planning too much, they can quickly clutter the scene without adding any interest to your composition. And in other cases they can create a really boring pattern. Here I tried to manage how I place them, so it's not too boring, and I also played with their thickness and direction. I didn't go too crazy though. I also wanted to frame our character with the help of these elements. Alright, so once we have the sketch pretty much done, it's time to add in some values on the ground and quickly block in the trees. So once we have all this, I'm establishing the background a bit more, and notice at this stage you don't need to be precise at all, just adding rough marks, adjusting the values and seeing if the composition works.
Now I'm starting to define the background a little bit more, constantly adjusting the values and defining the shapes.
The way I'm painting the character is pretty much the same way I did the whole landscape. After a simple sketch that helps me understand the shapes, I'm laying in the local color first, and then I'm just defining the forms. Finishing everything with integrating the character in the scene. In the final image at the end of the video, you will notice that I adjusted the colors and the values, and I also made the atmosphere a little bit thicker. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials coming soon.